Hi guys, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Ayush and I'm a trader. In this video, we'll analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty for the coming week. Before we start that, last week after the election result, the market has discounted 2 is to 2 win but BJP won 3 out of 4. So that thing was not discounted and Bank Nifty ran up nearly 2500 points. So that is the day when you have to avoid. When there is an event, don't take any overnight position so that you can save yourself from a lot. So for the coming week, now we'll go to the screen recording and we'll see key levels. Hi guys, welcome to the screen recording. So in Nifty, one thing is very clear and even in the last video when we discussed, we had an all-time high breakout around 2200 and 2300. And one thing even in the last video I have said, that whenever there is an all-time high breakout or new lifetime high breakout, never ever short the index even though how much up it can go. And one thing was very clear that before the election results, we close somewhere here and the market in general has discounted 2 is to 2 win for the BJP government. But it turned out that they win 3 out of 4 election. And that one election extra gave us a rally of more than 1000 points from that breakout of 19850. And even Bank Nifty rallied more than 250 points. So now how we can trade the coming week is the matter of discussion. So now if you see one thing, the market is very strong and there is one thing clear that the markets want to clearly trend. Any dip which is coming is getting bought. So how do we know whether this is going to go on or whether it is going to reverse. So for that, previous swing law has to be broken and unnecessary shorting the market doesn't make you money. But one thing is very clear that 2700, which is like, for example, here open gap up, then tested this level and then again closed up. And next day also, if you see three days, we are seeing a consolidation. So if I mark this three pin bars, you can see one thing very clearly that so the market wants to consolidate before the next move and one thing is very clear that until and unless 2700 is broken which is the previous swing low and the reason i'm betting on that level is that the gap was there when we tested the previous day's high and again went up so until and unless 2700 is broken there is no way we should short this market and maybe follow the trend and try to do and stick to bullish strategies now coming back to bank nifty also bank nifty also had the same structure last when we discussed we closed somewhere around here and it was clearly a breakout from the structure and next day due to the election results outcome bank nifty went 1600 points up and see one thing very clearly then whenever there is a more than 500 600 point gap or let's say 1 percent 1.5 percent gap generally that gap after gap up opening goes down and that gap get filled but if you see a gap and that particular day the market even trends in the direction of the gap that day's low is generally hard to break in the days to come or in the weeks to come. And we saw the same thing. Like for example, somebody assuming that it has run up 1600 points, 1700 points, so it will not go up. Next day also you see it went up 600 points. So one thing is very clear that until unless 46500 gets broken on the downside, there is no reason to short the market because market is still trading at all-time high. And you see within the consolidation, if you go and see 30-minute chart also, the market has consolidated and yesterday closed above the day's high. In the last half, there was a good rally on Bank Nifty and Bank Nifty closed above the day's high and closed around 47,250. So there are higher chances that Monday also will have a gap up due to the fact that we consolidated for a bit which was good for the market and the day's high closing. So that was our analysis for the Nifty and Bank Nifty. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.